you know, being faithful is extremely important. We, we need so many more people to decide to be faithful. Our church, any church, any church is going to grow through the core faithful people. Let's face it, you know, in churches, there's people that will end up coming and going over the years. And um, as churches grow, sometimes, the, you know, the, the, the door keeps spinning back and forth. People come, people go. But what's really going to help a church to succeed in doing the work of the Lord are the people when, when it's full of people who are faithful, people who are godly, people who take the, the word of God seriously and can be faithful. That word faithful doesn't just mean like full of faith, like, oh, yeah, I just trust in God and I trust in him so much that I just have all of this faith. Faithful, another word for faithful is reliable, is dependable, is someone you can trust or put your trust in. You're a faithful person, just like Jesus Christ is faithful, right? God is faithful, and there's plenty of scriptures that, re that describe God as being faithful, right? He will never leave us or forsake us because he is faithful. He's true to his promise. And this is an analogy we use out so, and at least I use sometimes, you know, when people try to, when we try to explain that uh, you can't lose your salvation, right? Sometimes, the, you know, the Bible makes reference to marriage showing the relationship between Christ and the church, right? And a husband and wife. And what happens in a marriage is that you make a vow until death do us part. And people say, yeah, but see, like, you could get a divorce and then, and then you're no longer married anymore, right? But when it comes to, to Christ and the church, you know, if he says he's never going to leave us, ever, you could try to leave, but if he's not going to leave you, he's going to remain faithful. See, you could break your promise, but he's not going to break his promise. And that's the way it works with God. And, you know, spiritually speaking, between Christ and the church, the church is the wife and Jesus is the husband, right? So, um, you know, He's not going to, Christ is going to put away his wife. You could try to leave him, but he's not going to leave you. And that's because God is faithful. The Bible teaches us here in Luke chapter 16, verse number 10, he that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. So no matter what you have, being faithful is a characteristic trait. It's something that should define who you are. It's not one of these things, you know, unfortunately, too many people will, will get jobs or have work to do or something where they just think, well, it's not that big of a deal. Who cares? It's just some stupid little thing. And, and this is a meaning, not a meaningful work that I'm doing, not a meaningful task, and not really care at all and end up doing a real shoddy job, doing, doing a, a, a much less... Uh, of a work on it than would even be due for the, for the job that you're doing, right? The Bible teaches us that we ought to be, you know, do all things as if you're doing them unto Christ. That, that the way that we work should, be, should be, do, be done as if we're serving Jesus Christ himself. And the Bible says he is faithful in that which is least, is faithful also in much. So when you can show and prove that you are a faithful person, that you're dependable, that yeah, even though the jobs may be menial, the jobs may not be that difficult, they may not have a whole lot of importance, but you're getting them done. Hey, I'm told to do something, I'm getting it done. God tells you to do something, if you're working for the Lord and you're working even on just small things, but you're, you're proving yourself, I'm getting them done. You know what? If you have that attitude of, I'm going to get this done, if you can get it done for the things that aren't very important at all, then you know they're going to get it done in the things that are important. Because they don't have that attitude of saying, well, this isn't really that big of a deal. Because people could have that attitude no matter what they're doing. 